Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brittany and today we're going to be talking about the new Maybelline and Gigi Hadid collection. Now, I didn't pick up everything from this collection, but I picked up the things that I thought I would use on a regular basis. So, these are the products I picked up. I'm going to break it down, tell you guys how I feel about them. All of them are on my face right now. That's what we're going to talk about today. So if you guys are interested to see what I think about the Maybelline and Gigi Hadid collection, Let's jump right in and let's do this! So the first product we're going to talk about is this little Maybelline Gigi Hadid eyeshadow palette. This is the exact same thing as the City Mini palette. So I use this on my eyes today and I use this shade as part of my highlight today. The only shade I didn't use in this palette was this rose gold one right here. But ultimately, I thought this palette was great. I think the colors were really good, very natural. I feel like this is really good for day-to-day -day type of wear. They are really creamy. They blend out really well. But my only issue with this palette is this is a standard City Mini palette. The only difference is the packaging is a different color. The layout is the exact same. And this is $14.99. Why do I have a Makeup Shayla City Mini palette that's only $10? And this one comes with a sleeve over the top, whereas this one did not. I don't understand why there is a price difference between these two. I get it, it's a collab, but so is this one. I really don't like the fact that they're marking this up $5 extra just because it's a collab with Gigi Hadid, especially when there's a collab right here with a very well-known beauty influencer. So. That's something I do not love about this collection. I overall really like this palette. I don't like how this palette is $15. I think that's pushing it for drugstore. You get 0.14 ounces in this palette. You get the same amount in this one as well. Again, I don't understand why there's a price difference, but I don't know. That's just how I feel about that eyeshadow palette. Okay, so sticking with eyes, we'll move on to this mascara. They did have two mascaras, but I picked up this one because I already know that I love this, and the other one was a fiber mascara. I do not mess with fiber mascaras they get in my eyes, I just didn't want any part of it. So I stuck with the Lash Sensational Mascara which I already love. Same thing, why is this one $11.99 and the original is $8.99? I don't understand why a collab they have to mark it up so much more money when with previous collabs they didn't do that. So I love the packaging on this, I love the way it performs, I'm happy to have this one again, but I just don't like how they marked it up so much more for literally the same product, just different color packaging. I mean, it's the same exact thing. So, love the mascara, I will continue to buy it, but I would say buy the original, save yourself a few bucks, but I love the packaging color on this, so I will hang on to it. So the last eye product that I picked up from this collection was the gel eyeliner in the shade Nude. I really did like this. I thought it was creamy. I thought it was nude. It was true to the color, but I thought it was not as opaque as my favorite one, the Rimmel Scandalized Nude Liner. The price on this one is $11.99, so that's very pricey for a drugstore liner when my Rimmel one is $4, and I like how that one performed better. I think that's a little much for a drugstore liner, but that's just me and my opinion. I will continue to use this, but I will definitely go back to my Rimmel Scandalized because I would not repurchase this, not with that price tag. If it wasn't that much, if it was only the $4 like Rimmel, I probably would repurchase it, but not when I have a cheaper one that will perform better. So yeah, I liked it, didn't love it. So yeah, that's my thoughts. All right, so ending more on a positive note, we'll end up with lip products. So I picked up the lip liner and lipstick in the shade Tora. I love how they corresponded the lip liners with the lipsticks. So these lip liners actually did not have a markup. These were $7.99, so that made me happy to see. I love the packaging on this. I love how it has the color of the shade on the bottom. I thought this applied really well. Really liked this. This was one of my favorite products, but this one was probably my favorite of the entire collection. And again, they did correspond very nicely. So this is the shade Tora right here. I'll give you guys a quick little swatch. It is what is on my lips right now, but these lipsticks are by far my favorite of the drugstore. These Color Sensational lipsticks are super opaque. They apply so comfortable. They're matte, they're comfortable on the lips. They're just overall the bomb for lipsticks in the drugstore. So I will definitely be picking up more of these. I think these ones were $8.99, usually they're $7.99, a dollar, I can deal with that. But with that being said, these two products were my favorite of the entire collection. I thought they were very beautiful on my lips. I did like the other products, don't get me wrong, but I just don't like the fact that they marked up everything else so much more, especially like this mascara. I mean, come on, it's the same exact thing, you know what I mean? It's like these are the same things, they're the same formula same consistency, same everything as the original products. 
keep the prices somewhat the same. I could deal with a dollar, but when you're getting to like three to five dollars more just for the same product, just for a name slapped onto it, I don't like that. So with that being said, these are my favorites of the bunch. My least favorite, honestly, I don't think I had one. If I were to pick one, it'd be this eyeliner just because the price of it and how it performed, but ultimately it was still a decent liner. So again, my thoughts on this are a little bit harsh, but that's just me and my opinion. You guys might have different opinions. Do I think this is a great collab? Absolutely. I think the products are excellent. I love the range that they had. They had even more products, but some of them I just knew that I wouldn't use. So I picked up first the ones that I thought I would use. So if there are any other products that you would like to see me use and see my opinions on them, please leave them in the comments down below. But if you guys like these little mini rundowns of collections give this video a thumbs up make sure you guys subscribe to my channel before you guys leave and hit the little notification bell so you get notified when i upload new videos so again i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope to see you guys in my next one